For many Americans, a cold glass of milk is as easy as opening the refrigerator. But other areas of the world aren't so lucky. I don't know if many people know, but India is the largest producer and consumer of milk in the world. And milk is an essential component of their diet. And a lot of that milk is collected without any refrigeration. Promethean Power, founded by Sam White and MIT alumnus Soreen Grama, recently deployed a solar milk chiller in India. The affordable technology promises to transform how perishable food is used in areas where access to electricity is expensive or unreliable. Uh, that's where the biggest need is. Companies like Promethean need both office space and shop floor space, a combination that traditional incubators don't offer. So Sam and Soreen teamed up with a few other clean tech companies to form Greentown Labs. I think what's unique about Greentown is that it is it's sort of a grassroots sort of developed based on our own need to have some space. We're filling an untapped need in the community. Greentown Labs started off in a small warehouse in Cambridge, but when the warehouse was slated for redevelopment, Greentown found a home in South Boston's new innovation district near the Fort Point Channel. Jason Hanna of Coincident, another Greentown Labs company, spearheaded the move to Boston. There he is! <laughs> oh, you are dramatic. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> But Jason almost didn't join Greentown. Sam and Soreen first courted an internet company before those plans fell through. They sent us an email that they wanted to clean the carpets. <laughs> and Soreen is like, there, out. <laughs> Which is interesting because now that we're in this facility uh, and we're kind of running this space as a little bit different entity, um, we actually have a cleaning company. <laughs> Both Jason and the Promethean team believe that Kendall Square and Boston's Innovation District can coexist peacefully, and that the combination actually strengthens the Boston region. I think that hub of innovation, you know, it could be a series of concentric circles. This part of the town has an energy of its own. Um, the pricing, the real estate, uh, the access to services, I mean, the fact that we're about three and a half blocks from South Station. I think it's good for the whole community because we are keeping startups here instead of letting them go somewhere else. Yeah. Greentown's inspirational power goes beyond clean tech. The incubator has attracted other types of businesses as sponsors, such as furniture manufacturer Turnstone. There's no barriers to what these guys have faced. You know, they, they just think they can accomplish anything. And we really love that entrepreneurial spirit, you know, that can-do attitude of, you know, we're going to start, and as hard as it is, we're going to uh, we're going to make this thing successful. But not only are we going to make it successful, we're going to make it successful for other people as well. So Promethean continues to drum up interest among dairy processors for the company's solar milk chiller. Sam and Soreen look to expand into other applications from vegetables to cattle vaccines. And Jason looks forward to growing the Greentown Labs family. We'd love other clean tech companies to join us. We have, we have room to grow the facility here, and I think we're starting to build out a model where um, we're finding ways to collaboratively cost share to put these types of services together. The groundwork's been paved. You know, the country road's been, uh, been paved with asphalt for other companies to come in here and, and get the support that uh, these, uh, these five original green tech um, companies needed. For the MIT Entrepreneurship Review, this is Chris Snyder reporting.